waterfalls, forest walks and crystal clear waters across Plover Cove Country Park and a long canoe back to the reservoir. This is Drone and Fun. Well, it's episode four of the pack rafting series. We're here at the fantastic bride's pool to start the day. And of course, I'm here with Natasha, my <laughs> superstar drone and phone reporter. How are you feeling today? I'm doing amazing. I can't wait to see what's in store for us today. Well, we're going to be walking quite a long walk down to San Machang, where we'll go out into the Marine Park and then we'll go around Double Island and down to Plover Cove. It's going to be a lot longer day than previous days. So a lot of walking. A lot of paddling, it's early morning, it's a beautiful day. Can't wait to see what's coming up for us. Bride's Pool is a great place to start the day. We scrambled up the rocks to see the falls in first light and the rainbow the cascading water creates. Our path over to Sam Chung took us past the top of the falls, which if you're daring you can scramble down to peer over the edge. The walk is just the shortest part of the day, taking us just three hours to traverse the peninsula before reaching a river which takes you into the Yan Chao Tong Marine Park. From there we paddled south of Double Island and around the headland before a long paddle back to Plover Cove Reservoir, where you return to the road via the Plover Cove Reservoir Dam. The walk from Bride's Pool to Sam Chung takes you through small villages, bamboo forests and along a small river. So this little stream down here will become a river very soon and as soon as it gets big enough for us to get the raft on we're going to unpack and start paddling. So we're walking down, hopefully we don't have to walk too far before we can get out on the water and start the second stage of our journey. Setting off down the river we quickly lost other walkers on the trail. There's an abundance of bird life along this small stretch of river before it opens out into the marine park. We stopped for a snorkel on one of the small red rocky islands that spread out across the park with clear waters. It's a great chance to get a look at the sea life below the surface. From there it's a hard paddle back through the straits between Double Island and around the peninsula where the waves start to pick up. Well, behind us is the Hong Kong Geo Park. Some amazing rock formations that you can get very close to in the canoe. We've been paddling a long time to get out here, probably more than an hour or so. It's pretty hard work because it gets very choppy at this point. It was just flat as a pancake when we set off, but not so now. Um, but we're going to get around the corner and then we'll make our way into Plover Cove. Hopefully it'll be a lot calmer as we go there. It took us a long five hours of paddling before we finally approached the shores near Plover Cove Reservoir. The waters did get calmer as we went, though with a warm sea breeze it's not a bad way to spend an afternoon exercising. Well we're just coming in as the sun goes down. It's been a lot longer than we expected. Effectively today it's been a, a story of two halves, a very long walk and then followed by a much longer paddle. In fact longer than we thought we, but we are just making it in before dark. How's it been for you Natasha? I've had an amazing time. Though it was kind of long, we did get to see jellyfish and some jumping fish, yeah? Yeah, we've just been watching jumping fish on the water and as places where we've stopped We've had a chance to snorkel. The water is incredibly clear and some amazing rock formations too. Now, if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone. Or you can find our previous episodes on droneandphone.com. I'm DJ Clark. And I'm Natasha. And, and this, this is Drone, drone and Phone. phone. Well, I must have hit Natasha about 20 times today. Yeah, I kept counting. I think around 22 maybe. 22 with my paddle as we were out. She was in front of me. And now I'm making a walk home in the dark. Sorry about that. It's OK. We're going to be walking across the dam. This should be an absolutely beautiful uh, scene. Which we'd hope to uh, drone it. But unfortunately, it's absolutely pitch black. Here's a couple of cyclists. Hello. Hello. 